obviously we have the board itself. Now the board is designed to replicate all the movements of snowboarding specifically, so it will tip from a toe edge to a heel edge. It will also go up and down slightly, as well as a little bit of yaw. Now a combination of all of these moves at the same time will imitate or replicate the movements that you will actually find happening to you on the snow. So a little bit of side to side, a little bit of edge to edge, a little bit of up and down, and of course with the body weight on it as well, we get the instability from one foot to another foot. The platform is designed to be unstable so that as an individual is closer to their balancing capabilities, what happens is, is they're now relying on the skeleton for maximum support and the muscle to simply protect the joints and then aid movement. By lining up the knees, ankles and hips specifically in the way that suits your skeletal structure, you now have maximum range of movement, therefore you have maximum reflex. On the uh, machine itself, the um, increments of measurement are already on the machine. So, from an operator's perspective, it's very easy to read the stance width. For Introduce you to the seat right here. So the seat is part of the measurement procedure. We start off seated specifically before standing and of course using the safety rail. Stability and the fact that this can be relied upon to support you. The machine itself obviously is built to look like a snowboard and on the machine here we can actually see these measurements stance width. They are in uh, one centimeter increments specifically so that we can actually figure out the distance from center to center which is your stance width. The plates themselves rotate freely that allows for the natural external rotation of the feet. The current locking mechanism is simply this plate that slides forward and that prevents the plate from spinning too much now. It doesn't lock it completely, it actually just makes it so that it won't spin too much and we'll see how that works later on in the procedure.